Hi, I'm Kurt Elder of Energy Effects Fitness Consultants, and it's Wednesday, so you know what time it is, midweek motivation. Now, it's going to be short and sweet today. First thing I want to say is, not all movement is good movement. Follow me. Not all movement is good movement. Now, obviously, we just came from the holiday weekend. I had a few clients out of town, had a little bit more chance to look around, if you know what I mean. I'm watching people doing walking lunges with weights that probably shouldn't even be doing walking lunges, let alone with added resistance, weights. I'm watching people do deadlifts with completely straight knees and possibly rounded backs. I'm watching other gym members do knee raises that they think are actually abdominal exercises, but they're not really activating their abdominal muscles. Not all movement people is good movement. Example. If you do knee raises, thinking they're an abdominal <clears throat> exercise, and all you're really doing is shortening your hip flexors, I got news for you. Most of the people I, I see or I meet have short hip flexors. Do you know what short hip flexors do? They create knee pain. So you think you're training abdominal muscles because you saw it in some kind of magazine or thought it would be really cool, or you saw someone with a, a low body fat, and you're thinking that they got that low body fat, that six-pack, by doing these exercises, and so you mimic what you see, and all you're really doing is creating knee pain. Not all movement is good movement. Doing straight leg deadlifts, I've seen it a lot. I watched it a lot as I was, I've been in this industry. i got to be honest with you. My reading tells me after about 45 degree flexion of the upper trunk of the body, you become more ligamentous. That means you're using more of your ligaments than you are actually your muscles to attack that area or to perform that movement. So doing them straight leg really isn't helping. Good old fashioned, a slight bend in the knee and focusing on the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back on that example of deadlift is perfect. Walking lunges, which is the one I started with. I see tons of people do it, but their knee rotates past their toe. Do it often enough the wrong way and add weight to it, you're looking at a possible ACL tear in your knee or a meniscus tear. Again, not all movement is good movement. So make sure you're getting accurate information that will save you both time and potential injury, whether it's from my YouTube channel or any other reputable trainer that's giving you advice and demonstration on how to execute exercises properly. Number one. Number two and final, the thing I want to ask all of you as we round off this last month, for 2011, I want you to think about what is it that you need from me? Do you need more recipes? Maybe some meal plan examples? Do you have pain in a certain spot that you absolutely can't figure out how to get rid of? Training tips? These kinds of things. Fill me in. I want it to be a little bit more client driven and not just the people I immediately see, but those of you out there that I don't even have a chance to have contact with. I'd love to hear from you more often. Send me some emails. Excuse me. Hit me on Facebook. Hit me on my YouTube channel. Contact me. Let me know what you need and I'll make sure to get it to you. Now, go out and get it done.